Ladies and gentlemen, today we are starting Batman episode 2, Children of Arkham. Arkham. So, um, Falcone dies in custody, and we get back to the Sky Club. That's about it. What interesting happens. See you then. What episode 2? Zwei! Um, Double! <laughs> previously on Batman Total Series. Yes, previously. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. We will change. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Oh, those... those moves, though. Aww. Bye, Bat. <laughs> This is Selena. This How many? Selena. I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? It's the Waynes. <laughs> well, what? The Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> That's not true. Oh yeah, this is the part where uh, Bruce lost his, you know, mind and almost kills Alfred and yells at him. Very. Very bad. Yes, very bad. Very bad. Come on, come on, come on. What's with the loading all the time? Oh, look, a chopper. Chopper, 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 chopper. Wayne Memorial Auditorium. Okay. Oh, look, it's me. Oh, nice. Um. Don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. Oh, look, there's Alfred. Crime and what? I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred, for all these years? What would you have me do? You were a child. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I... I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. Who? Oh. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. What? What do you mean? Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. What? Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You knew all that, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. 
I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. Really? What? I hope you can forgive me. No! Fuck you! How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. You better not! This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a lowlife thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. I am maybe going to kill you. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I am so going to kill you. Yes, you. Wiping your mouth. <sighs> Side alley. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail. Just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? Yes, he is. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Look at graffiti! He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave. Just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. Look at theater. All right, we're going to the theater. We're going... No, we're not. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. What? I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Yes, she was. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. In the gunfires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Good question. I'd say no. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! Nothing personal, just business. He told me you had it coming. You, you don't have to do this.
It was Falcone who ordered the hit. Bruce, are you all right? No. It wasn't a bug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Fucking Falcone, like I said. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Falcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. <laughs> nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. Yeah, it is. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you got to say. We'll be out here. Here we go! Episode 2, ladies and gentlemen! Hello! Um. Whoa! He got his ass kicked! Children of Arkham! Oh! Lovely headline! The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You know you're going to die in jail. <laughs> uh, I'll get witness protection in Tahiti, kid. I'm dying on the beach. <laughs> Talk like that. You remind me of your father. We're gonna uh, talk that's about right. it. Tommy and I were close. Really? More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings. 
and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. No, we're not. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? He's... He's gonna be in jail soon. I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Yes. Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the What the fuck was that? They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets you in or out! Go! Go! For fuck's sake, woman, are you fucking crazy? You... I'm gonna say it, you bitch! Damn it! We are in deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. Isn't it obvious? She wanted to shut Falcone up for good. I mean, this whole damn force is riddled with corruption. Someone must have got to her, Jim. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story or someone else will. Then we need the whole story. Not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. 
Was it? <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm going to try and confirm some suspicions of mine. What's what her skin? Still visible beneath her skin. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. You better hurry! Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The what? voice, it was saying something about revolution. What? Cobblepot said something similar. What? I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. Right, we stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, I, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Oh, no, not you again. What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. No. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. I have no comment at this time. Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. No! Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now if you'll excuse me. You should talk to me, Bruce. This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not.
Great. Excellent. And we're back at the bat cave. All right, we have a lamp. Lambo that turns into a bat car. That's so amazing. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sickbed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. No, he should I hope shouldn't. he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Okay. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Don't say I already know that, Captain Obvious. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but... Dragging others to fight them for you. Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Right. Um, question? Fountain. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Okay. And the last drone. There go, you go. You'll be alright. Alright. Well, I guess we found... What? He's at the Skyline Club? The Skyline Club? Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? 
Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Yes, indeedy. The bat is coming. And we are so late. Alright, so I'm gonna end this episode here, not to make it too long. I mean, this part of this episode. Not to make it too long. And I guess I'll see you guys in part two of episode two. And until then, bye-bye.